Solana and Avalanche have had issues in recent months, causing a frequent breakdown of their system. In this video, we would be running through understanding the architecture of these projects, the causes of this shutdown, and its impact on the project as a whole. Can you please take a moment to subscribe to hit the channel and hit the notification button to get more intriguing and informative videos like this. Thank you. What is the Solana ecosystem? Solana is an open source project that develops a brand new, fast layer 1 blockchain without authorization. Anatoly Yakovenko, a former executive at Qualcomm who founded Solana in 2017, set out to grow throughout the beyond what is generally possible on well-known blockchains while maintaining a competitive price point a novel proof of history or POH method, and a lightning fast synchronization engine, a type of proof of stake, are combined in Solana's hybrid consensus model, POS. Solana's ambitious plan is to provide a novel solution to the blockchain trilemma, a theory put forward by Ethereum's developer Vitalik Buterin. Decentralization, security, and scalability are the three main problems that blockchain developers must address when creating their systems according to this trilemma. As blockchains can only ever deliver two of the three benefits at once, it is widely assumed that their design requires developers to choose between one component and the other two. Solana tokenomics, with a current supply of 350,100,273 SOL coins and a 516,946 total supply, there is no set maximum supply. There are two uses for the SOL token. One is staking, in which holders of SOL tokens can stake their SOL and earn incentives. The other enables users to pay for costs related to carrying out smart contracts or other transactions with SOL. Additionally, Solana's weighted validator set, which protects the Solana network, distributes a predetermined sum of inflation-based incentives. The weight of each staking reward is determined by the quantity of staked tokens. The ratio of the staked tokens to the total supply of tokens determines the yield. Over $8.6 billion in worth is currently trapped in Solana's decentralized finance or DeFi ecosystem's different platforms. Solana is now ranked 6th behind networks like Phantom, Terra, Avalanche, and Ethereum. Exciting facts about the Solana ecosystem. There are several intriguing new developments in Solana that have recently been announced or are about to go live. With the help of Solana Pay, retailers will be able to take USD coins and other tokens quickly and cheaply. The collaboration between Solana and Checkout.com, Sitcon, and integrations with FTX and Phantom led to the creation of the new product. Coachella, one of the most well-known music festivals in the world, also revealed an NFT collection made with Solana for its upcoming Q2 2022 event. Lifetime festival passes, guest passes, VIP passes, and other exclusive benefits that have not yet been revealed are some of the NFTs with real-world worth. Comparisons to Ethereum, the preeminent blockchain for decentralized apps, have unavoidably been made due to Solana's rapidly developing ecosystem and adaptability or dApps. Smart contract functionality is present in both Solana and Ethereum, which is essential for the operation of cutting-edge applications like decentralized finance or DeFi and non-fungible assets or NFTs. Solana's substantial edge over Ethereum in terms of transaction processing speed and transaction costs was a large factor in the hype surrounding it in 2021. Solana's average cost per transaction is $0.00025, and it has a maximum TPS capacity of 50000 While transaction costs in 2021 reached a record high of $70, Ethereum can only manage fewer than 15 TPS. What is the Avalanche ecosystem? Ethereum rival Avalanche or AVAX is a cryptocurrency and blockchain platform. The Avalanche blockchain uses smart contracts like Ethereum does to support several blockchain applications and AVAX is its native coin. The Avalanche blockchain can offer almost immediate transaction completion. AVAX serves as a fundamental unit of account among blockchains in the Avalanche network and is used to pay transaction processing fees and secure the network. The designers of Avalanche set out to find a solution to some of the issues that Bitcoin and other more established blockchains like it frequently face to advance and improve blockchain technology. Some of these include issues with usability, scalability, and interoperability. The three blockchains that make up the Avalanche mainnet are as follows. Xchain, this blockchain is employed in asset management. The Avalanche consensus protocol is employed. Cchain, smart contracts are built using this blockchain. The Snowman consensus protocol is employed. Pchain, the validators are coordinated via this blockchain. The Snowman consensus protocol is also utilized. 
Avalanche was created by Kevin Sekhnishi, Malfan Ted Ian, and Emin Gun Sirer. The method was created by a team of Cornell University academics under the direction of Emin Gun Sirer, a professor of computer science and software engineer. Two of his PhD students, Mao Fan Ted Yin and Kevin Segniki, helped him. Avalanche Tokenomics The network runs on AVAX tokens. Validators stake these coins to protect the network while getting paid for keeping them locked up for a specific amount of time. AVAX coins have a current supply of over 220 million and a maximum cap supply of 720 million. The remaining 360 million AVAX tokens will be created gradually after the 360 million in the Genesis block. In contrast to Bitcoin, whose fees go to the miners, all fees in Avalanche are burnt, increasing the token supply scarcity. Burning resulting from transaction fees is countered by the creation of new AVAX tokens. Before we move to the issues that have caused a huge setback to both projects, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification button to get more videos like this. The Breakdown Solana A significant outage that affected the Solana network lasted for more than 17 hours. The outage occurred while its native token Sol, which had increased in value from $1.86 in January 2021 to $171 at the time of the most recent crash, was seeing phenomenal gains. For those agonizing 17 hours, $11 billion in investor funds were held up due to a system failure. Prices for Sol decreased 5.06% from $171.48 to $142.86 as a result of the outage. The outage primarily happened because resources were used up when the transaction load reached 400,000 transactions per second or TPS. Solana is currently experiencing a clock drift problem, which is a delay in on-chain time brought on by more time-consuming block processing. Since the issue does not directly impact network performance, users won't be aware of it. The misrepresentation of time by decentralized applications created on the Solana platform is the fundamental disadvantage of having a clock drift on the network. The two-week-old post that was initiated with a screenshot of the Solana status page implies that the network is experiencing performance degradation because block time and processing are outside of their typical ranges and the users are having trouble moving transactions through. According to reports, the outage on May 17 lasted for more than 8 hours. Although the current problem the network is experiencing is less serious and might not even influence the performance of normal users, there is still a possibility that the network's condition will deteriorate over time. The network's token has lost 70% of its value in the previous 60 days of trade due to ongoing downtime, a dearth of new projects launching on Solana, and other problems. Avalanche the recent issue with the Avalanche ecosystem was caused by a bug. Regular transactions, asset transfers, coin destruction, coin transfers, and smart contract invocation were unaffected by the bug. The same cash could never be effectively sent to two recipients at once using Avalanche. Therefore, there were absolutely no double spends. Instead, the bug allowed an invalid mint operation on the C-chain by failing to record a conflict with an ancestor block, and it only accomplished this if and only if that ancestor block was undecided at the same time on a sufficient number of nodes. The bug was non-deterministic since it could only occur when three predecessors had unresolved questions. That is, it could only happen in a few sporadic network situations. The pangolin launch was the catalyst, which led to a substantial amount of activity on the Avalanche smart contract chain. Recall that Avalanche has three default chains, B-chain for staking and subnet management, X-chain for asset transfers, and C-chain for contracts. They each operate a unique virtual machine created to fulfill their individual needs and approved by the same group of validators. The number of blocks being processed concurrently increased on February 11 as a result of an increase in network traffic brought on by Pangolin's release. As a result, the system had more concurrent blocks which led to the bug. Thank you so much for following through with the video. Make sure you follow the page for more videos like this. Bye.